Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you thanking you and praising you for the return of the sweet hour of prayer, this time where on Thursday nights have been, has been set aside to hear from the associate ministers of Zion. We pray for Reverend Holder tonight, Lord God, that you will use her um, to minister your word to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this time again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Reverend Bobby Holder with the word. Reverend Holder, go right ahead. Yes, grace and peace, everybody. I think I can hear somebody's phone. <laughs> yeah, that's why we ask um, for them to start six. Mother, I'm going to go ahead and mute all of the lines, and then I'll ask you to unmute yourself, okay? Okay, dear. And that'll take care of everything. Um, all right. Mother, if you would unmute yourself, please, and that will be great. Grace and peace, everybody, and thank God for you today. And I thank God for the opportunity to come before you and have a few words with you and pray that something be said that will enlighten somebody in some way in reference to Jesus. So let us just have a word of prayer. My Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, Father, in all the earth. We give you glory, honor. We give you praise. We just lift your holy name up all in the name of Jesus. God, I pray thee that uh, there is something that you have put in my spirit that you want me to relay to your people. And I do it by the help of the power of the Holy Ghost. And I pray that it be worthy, worthy to represent the name of Jesus. And I'll just say amen to that. I will be talking to you today about uh, a subject on having a key to your victory in your thoughts. And don't be trapped by your belief when you make your choices. And our scripture reference will be reflection from Genesis 15, 6. Thus beginning the reading of God's holy and erred word. And Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord declared him righteous because of his faith. That's a mouthful right there in reference to what I want to talk about. Faith is important in our walk in the name of Jesus. And we must have a key to the victory in our thoughts. And our thoughts must be set on Jesus himself and his walk, what he taught and what he left for us, instructions to be laid in our path so we can stay on a path of righteousness for his name's sake. And this about Abram had been a demonstration about his faith through his actions. It was his belief in the Lord, not his actions, that made him right with God. What he agreed and disagreed to do by faith because of his faith and his belief in God. And we ourselves must show forth a faith that is strong in the Lord. Just as God declared Abraham righteous, he declared the believer righteous. So we have that same aspect, that same tool, that same gift to be declared righteous through Jesus Christ. We believe God is who he said he is and that Jesus is his only son. I want to say to you, it's important to have the key to your victory in your thoughts and your thoughts to be set, set on Jesus, Jesus the Christ, the Savior, who surrendered his life for us, gave his life for us. And we have to be mindful of the things that we have in our heart. Things in our heart speak for us. They speak for the things that we are thinking and they speak for the things that we do. And I want to say to you, decisions become our choice and our choice can lead us into heaven or hell. We must ask ourselves when we make a choice in this life, in this world, is it based on the Lord Jesus? God's word. Is it? Will it be the right decision in according to God's word in obedience or disobedience? You must know that there is a key to the victory in your thoughts. Your choice, right or wrong, good or bad, speaks for you. Not only you, me, and everybody else, because there's none perfect in the world. Everybody, or everybody, falls short. And what we do can separate us from the love of the Lord. And we must believe that there is a way that we can stay focused, and that is keeping our mind on Jesus. Don't be trapped 
by the belief of a poor choice. Be successful in choosing your actions. Make sure your action is the reaction that is causing you to become more faithful in your walk. Don't be trapped in unbelief in things that you know is wrong. Have the key of victory in your thoughts. God's word will never lead anyone in what he has forbidden. Amen? His path is the path of righteousness. So we must hold on to his word, put it in our heart, and be mindful of Psalms 119. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And I want to say to you, the word is the key all about Jesus, all about the word of God, from Genesis to Revelation. We have a key to the victory to go with the thoughts in our mind. The Bible tells us in 17, 17, 27, 29, what your attitude reveals about your belief. We can read about many choices that was made in the Bible, which led to consequences. And just to name a few, Abraham, under pressure, he destroyed the truth. Sarah had trouble believing God's promise, attempted to work problems out for her own self. Without consulting God, she tried to cover her faults by blaming others. Ishmael failed to recognize the place of his half-brother Isaac and mocked him. Ishmael under pressure, he inti- Isaac under pressure, he intended to lie. Our choice will bring about blessing of God's wrath one way or the other. If it's wrong, it's a wrath of God. We all fall short of God's glory from time to time. We all have a mindset that can lead us astray. It's easy to get trapped in the wrong way of thinking or of a matter. What will cause one to become trapped in a fall that leads deeper into unrighteous ways? We must go to God in prayer before we make decisions. Hide God's word in our heart. Pray about everything. Don't hold anything back because you can't hide anything from the Lord. He's all-knowing and forever present. And we all have a mindset at times that lead us to believe what we think is the right for us. Knowing that there is some wrongness in it, but yet and still, there are those that will try and justify what they're doing by misusing the word of God. And I want to say to you, we must study the word of God to show ourselves approved unto him. And don't be coming short up to fall short in God's glory. From time to time, that'll happen. There are times the scripture, you can speak the scripture, even yourself, and know that mm-mm, the Holy Spirit will let you know, oh, no, mm-mm. I have to ask forgiveness for this because this just ain't right. And we must let our belief, faith, trust, and hope show up. All in Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Son of God. When one becomes trapped in choices and beliefs, let faith be the rule in your life. First Corinthians 15, 57 and 58. But thanks be to God, we give us up the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to say to you, we do have a victory through Jesus Christ. Even when things creep up in our mind and we want to worry about it, don't surrender to that. Don't do that. We are not supposed to worry about things. We're supposed to stay in the present moment of the Lord, of Jesus. Remember who he is, that he's all knowing and forever present, and we cannot fail. (laughs) Cannot fail if we stay on the right track. And let our mind have victory in our thoughts. Because we can go on and go on, but we must remember one thing. Surrender all of your worries to the Lord because he cares for us. We must remember that, that they are things that we have no control over. We have no charge for those things that you know that they are someone that can control it. If you depend and rely on him, he will see you through. Your thoughts can be key, the key to your victory. Knowing Jesus was crucified, shed his blood for us, died and buried, stayed in the tomb for three days, but God rose him up from the dead, and he has all power in his hand, seated on the right-hand side of the throne of God, interceding for us, speaking for us, looking over everything for us. And I want to say to you, you have to believe that in your heart so you can have the victory in your thoughts. Scripture says, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So it's not nothing to be ashamed of. 
for looking to the hill which cometh your help, because your help comes from the Lord, who created the heaven and the earth. And I want to say to you, Romans 10, 9, and 10 tells us that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And that means save us from all things that we can get into. And I want to say to you, there is a way out, and that way is Jesus. In verse 10, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You just have to remember where your salvation lies at. Don't be trapped in your wrong choices and believe, wrong thinking, producing wrong conduct. Matthew 15, 19, for out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts. The Bible gives us clear direction on what and how we should think, walk, talk, and treat others. Philippians 4, 8 provides us with a list of good things to think about. We are to focus our mind on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, virtuous, and of good report. Romans 12, 3, we are not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought to. Sometimes we can think that we have arrived and that the rules and word of God don't refer to us, but that the devil is a liar. I want to say to you, take God's grace and humble yourself. And be our, we have a renewed mind. Be wrapped up in Jesus. Psalms 139, 23 to 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. Lead me and lead me in the way everlasting. Don't be trapped in wrong choices in your mind. Your thoughts can have victory with the Lord. Don't be trapped in the choice that's not of the Lord, which is heading for a fall. We have the victory in Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus, I do say, and I leave you with that. Don't be trapped in your thoughts. Depend on the Lord Jesus, because he will lead you every step of the way, never leaving you nor forsaking you, providing you every need according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. So I leave you with that. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you so much for the word tonight, Reverend Holder about having peace in our choices, amen. And we can't have that when we consult the Lord as Reverend Holder has pointed out to us tonight. That is our word for tonight. Let's close in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word coming to us from Reverend Holder tonight. And we thank you, Lord, for using her to speak to us about the peace that we can have in our choices and guiding us in our and, and the way that we are to think according to those things that she told us that are right and just and pure and lovely and full of good report. Help us daily, Lord, not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we might prove what is a good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Thank you, Lord, for her use. Uh, thank you for using her. Please restore and refresh and replenish her tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray for our pastor in his absence, that you would um, guide him as he goes about his pastoral obligations for this evening. Keep him safe. Keep all of our participants tonight safe. All of our church family, we pray for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. 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 Go with God tonight. Amen. We'll see you again on the line at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to start your day with Dr. J. God bless you, saints. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank Thank Be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, yes, Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank Be you, Reverend Holder. Good, 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 good night, word. everyone. Mm -hmm. Good night, my love. Good night, Sister Alice. Good night. Good night, Good night. everyone. Good night. Thank you, Reverend Lord. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, God bless you, too, honey. I love mm -hmm. you. Okay. God Good night. bless you, Jay. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night.